Hi and welcome to a lecture on diabetic foot infections. Patients with diabetes may develop neuropathy and associated loss of protective sensation. As a result, they may develop a foot ulcer or traumatic wound that may be complicated by a severe limb-threatening or life-threatening infection. Furthermore, impaired arterial blood supply from peripheral vascular disease in the patient with diabetes may impair healing of ulcers and infections. Most diabetic foot infections are polymicrobial. The most common pathogens are aerobic gram-positive cocci, mainly the staphylococcal species. Diabetic foot infections typically take one of the following forms. Cellulitis, deep skin and soft tissue infections. Now, let's get to discuss therapeutic choices. Optimal treatment of diabetic foot infections include drainage and debridement, proper wound care to promote healing, appropriate antimicrobial therapy, surgery as indicated, and correction of metabolic irregularities. Initial therapy is usually empiric and based on the severity of infection. Empiric therapy for early infections should target Staphylococcus aureus and the beta hemolytic streptococci. However, it is important to consider local epidemiology of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus to guide decision-making about empiric therapy. The treatment of osteomyelitis is more complex because of bone involvement and surgery is considered in the decision-making process. Potentially beneficial treatment options include either a prolonged course of oral therapy lasting for months or a six-week course of parenteral therapy.